Well, good evening and welcome to Munted News. I am munted. <laughs> I am completely munted. And yet I still don't sound quite as fucking daft as you. <laughs> That's the premise. You're going to have to deal with it. And I am going to have to slog through it. Our top story today. A Russian spy <laughs> by the name of Ladochka Sokolov has been found guilty of raping a thousand Muslims in Telford. P police believe Sokolov has been storing the bodies of innocent brown people in the basement of a disused petrochemical factory just outside Hollinswood <laughs> and has been grinding down their soiled and violated cadavers to refine a military-grade nerve agent which is now being stockpiled in preparation for the next election. Being a master of disguise and espionage, Sokolov is actually a large swarthy man from Minsk, but goes undercover by wearing the harvested skin of a blonde Canadian woman. But before he could face trial for his crimes, like the slippery rusky he is, <laughs> he hastily escaped in disgrace from the UK. Probably in some kind of pirate dinghy armed with anti-immigrant cannons. Manifestly observable anti-immigrant cannons. Her partner in crime, Bogdana Petropov, <laughs> has also fled the UK <laughs> amidst charges of raping 47 Muslims in Rochdale over the course of many centuries. The local police are outraged as to why the citizens aren't doing their jobs properly. And this guy did Rotherham. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I can't, can't think of a name for him. Maxim Smirnoff? Oh yeah, I'm not really trying. The Crown Prince of Mother Russia, Vladimir Putin, pictured here, <laughs> was contacted for a statement. He told us, I hate women, I hate gays, I'm literally a Nazi. Smell my fingers, smell my other finger, woof woof, I did 9-11. Ministers have been left baffled by this footage of an orangutan smoking a cigarette. Look at it, look at it, that's crazy! It's like it knows what to do with it. It thinks it's people. My God, I've seen everything now. What's the world coming to? In lighter news, a BBC report from the 7th of March 2018, for real, real, shows the children of Hadley Learning Centre telling us just how peachy things are in their part of the world right now. I share a relationship with Telford that every other single person in Telford does. It seems like it has this um, whole like persona about it that it's like not for girls. I think Telford's just a great place for opportunities. When I joined Cadets, they were telling me that anyone could do anything they want as long as they had the aspiration. Look how cute! Look how fresh-faced they all are! Oh, you could just. You could just eat them up with a spoon, come here! How appreciative I am to be surrounded by so many green men. It's nice to be able to see some uh, culture around where I live. I was gang raped um, just after I turned 16. Just because I've moved school doesn't change me as a person. They were threatening me with um, burning my house down. Quite a few of my friends and I have been buying and selling clothes to make our own income. Telford's a very small area, so there's nowhere to hide, like, if somebody knows where you, where you live. For a person um, of many diverse backgrounds, um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's great. And I was saying no, I, I genuinely wanted to die because I thought that was the only way, the way out. Mm. We're sorry. We're very sorry. We're very, very sorry. We don't know how that clip managed to make it in there. There was some kind of technical difficulty, but we seem to have it resolved now. Worry ye not, people. This woman is a liar. She, she is a liar and a slut and an alt-right shill. She rapes Muslims. 
She's probably a terrorist. And she needs to leave the country right now. This just in. The person you were listening to in that clip was actually a white man from Oxford <laughs> who is in disguise and is cynically trying to smear women's otherwise untarnished reputation. I know, I know it sounds like this is a whistleblower, but it's actually a dog whistleblower. <laughs> that changes all the things because they're dogs. <laughs> See, <laughs> they're not drowning, but waving. <laughs> Mystery solved. Go back to your lives, people. Go back to your idyllic and unassuming country towns. There is nothing to see here. Everything is safe. In other news, Osama bin Laden, pictured here, <laughs> has risen from the grave and is now an immortal and heavily armed zombie roaming the streets of Luton and dragging innocent Muslim girls down to the underworld, whereupon their flesh is consumed by the Dark Lord Cthulhu. Pictured here. <laughs> the Dark One... <laughs> the Dark One was last seen entering an off-license in Upper Pollock Shields. He was... He was overheard saying, See you, pal, och, eki eki, patang, patang, I'll cut you, bitch as he mentally traumatised a, a nearby King Charles Spaniel by electrocuting it from another room. The... <laughs> the, the weather in your area is fucked. Just fucked. <laughs> okay, back to the, back to the news. All right, let's listen to our man on the scene. Oi, Nick, speak some truth. Not one word of the Telford abuse and murder stories on the BBC News website. No, 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 not true. I just showed you. There, there was a couple of articles, including that very informative piece about the school children. There's this one too. I'm concerned about the thousand figure because I don't know the basis upon which it was reached and actually uh, we've worked with a number of young people over many years around CSE and it's nowhere near that 1,000 number. See? <laughs> The BBC has indeed weighed in on this. They showed us a policeman who was good enough to inform us that, ah, don't worry about it. Don't you worry your pretty little face about it. It's not, I'm, I'm sure it's closer to like 900. This is ridiculous. Uh, and, and these allegations go back up to 40 years. You can't make 30 or 40 year old rape allegations against these people. Who do you think they are? Bill Cosby? <laughs> they vote left wing. They're good people. Shut up. By the way, I didn't, I didn't know until I looked into this. Apparently, Telford, the town itself, is only 50 years old. That's, that's unusual for a town in Britain. You know? <laughs> it was you know, established, built and in, established as a town 50 years ago. And for 40 of those years, it's effectively been the rape capital of Britain. Like, how much of this mistake, this hideous hideous mistake was in fact by design sorry sorry i'll try to get back into character <laughs> i think that's what i'm in everywhere else not the bbc presumably in case it's ethnically upsetting and yet on lbc you've many asians who are speaking candidly and opening up about their disdain for these vultures yes yes correct these rapists are asians for for a minute there i thought you were going to call them muslims you you must not call them Muslims. It doesn't matter that they are Muslims. It doesn't matter. When you call these rapists Muslims, you're, you're, you're implicating all Muslims in this crime. He's, you can't go around implicating over a billion people for the crimes of a few. It's reckless and irresponsible. No, these rapists are Asians. You see, it's, it's the people from Asia who, who are collectively responsible for this. And men, of course. Now, don't ever again let me catch you implicating large groups of innocent people. You white supremacist patriarchal shitlord. Rah, rah, I would never do this thing I'm doing. Say another soundbite, Nick. These people are linked mostly, I think it's 99% of them, are Muslim. And the, 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 the men. Yes, the men. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite as high as that, but obviously the vast, the, 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 the massive majority. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the vast majority. Yeah, huge. Yeah. 
and and but they're and not real Muslims. <laughs> they're not real Muslims. Yeah, a star Nick, ten out of ten. Preach it, brother. This see, it's those bastards at the BBC who are the ones with the problem. You would never suffer from exactly the same fucking problem. Go on and bring it home, Nick. It is the teachings in the Quran. No, 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 no. They're not real. No, 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 no. Have you read the Quran? Not every page of it, no. Have I made my point? No, you're being too cryptic, you son of a fuck. This is all very simple when you don't think about it. They are not real Muslims. According to the scant selected pages of their holy books, which I have indeed read, real Muslims do not conquer by the sword. There's nothing in there about a sword, as far as I know. I don't know what you're talking about. Real Muslims are peaceful. Therefore, clearly these are not real Muslims, because they're rapists. <laughs> but they are Asian men. <laughs> Rest assured and confuse ye not, they are as real as Asian men come. You see, we're, we're progressives. We're sick of all this sexism and racism. So we need to concentrate on the fact that these rapists are Asian and male. And nothing else! Jesus, what is it? Well, it's like I'm talking to a brick wall. What is, it? What is this thing on? <laughs> Why does no one understand me? You're all insane. Oh, all right, it's the end of the show, folks. That's all I can do. The, this was fun. Oh, I forgot. And uh, Jim Bowen died. R.I.P. Jim. All right. Is, is there anything else I've missed? Anything I should have acknowledged but didn't? No? All right. Good night. Thanks for watching Munted News. I have been Dr. Rand McCam and I have been munted. <laughs> it was horrible. I never personally wanted to do drama. <laughs>